let's check out the different ways we can save our show file and augmented model information. So to look at our options, let's hit our displays key to go into our file browser. We'll open up our file menu. I'm gonna say save as, we'll put it in our show file archive. And you'll see here we have three save as options. Our first option is to include the augmented model. This will be a .esf3d extension, and this will save all the show file data, including the model. Our next option is to only save the show file data. This is a .esf2 extension. So this will save everything in the show file with the exception of the augmented model. As a reminder, all of your fixture data lives in patch, and so it will be stored in this type of file. Our final option is to save in legacy mode. This will create a .esf file. So if you need to open your show file on a console running 2.8 or lower software, you'll need to save it as this file type. A note about using our quick save function, the shift update. The console will remember the last thing you saved if it was an ESF3D or an ESF2 type of file. So whichever one you saved last, when you do a quick save, that's what it will save again. This does not apply to the .esf legacy file type. Saving as a .esf legacy file is a one-time event and shift update will never assume that that's what you want to do the next time. For now, I'm just gonna say cancel.